Now, one of the things about a source code repository is that you can control your changes by branching out from the main stem of your project. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Now, we use Git, and Xcode also supports Subversion. Those are two open source source code repositories. And the integration with Git, because of its structure, is tighter than the incorporation with Subversion. So if you are using Xcode in an environment where you are already using Subversion, my suggestion is keep on using Subversion. If you are using Git, continue to use Git. If you are not using source code management, and you should be, even for very small projects, if you're not using it, go ahead and use the built-in Git. I'm going to show you how I can get the most out of a source code repository. I showed you how we can track changes that are made when I add or delete a comment from a file. But what happens if we make a bigger change? Here I'm selecting a group, I'm holding down Control, and I get the shortcut menu, and I want to add a new file to the project. It will be an iOS Cocoa Touch Objective-C class, and I'm going to be building a new user interface. So what I want is a view controller, and I'm going to call it new UI view controller. And let's do it for the iPad, and I can select any class at all, of course. And within the project, create the new files. And notice here I have two new view controller files, the .m and .h file. Up here, the project itself has been modified. So I have all of this feedback here of what has happened. And what I can do is perhaps add more code, do whatever I want to do now, and test it. And then when I come up here, I have the choice of creating a new branch, discarding changes, or committing changes, just as I did before. I'm going to discard all of the changes. When I open this back up, those files are gone. And the reason I wanted to discard those changes is because this is sort of a significant change to the project, and I'm not sure I want to continue doing it. So the best practice here is to come up here and create a new branch. In the project Git, I'm on the master branch, but I'm going to create a new branch, and I'm going to call it New UI. And now if I look up here, you can see that I'm in New UI, not in the main branch. And now that I'm in that branch, now I'm going to repeat what I just did in a much safer way. I'm going to add a new file. Again, it's going to be here. Call it new UI view controller, same as before. I'm going to put it in the same place and create it. Here are the files created. They're added. The modification is made to the project itself. And I could write code, do whatever I want to do, and come up here, and maybe I do want to commit this. But notice that I'm in this branch. So I'm going to be committing it to a branch, and I can then come up here later on and merge that branch into the main branch or continue along with it. So that if it turns out that this new UI isn't panning out, I can just go back and switch to the master branch where I started and get rid of everything that's on the branch. So you have the ability here to merge branches, discard them. You can work with individual changes or branches. And this is the way in which you can take control of your development projects, whether you are working on a one-person skunkworks project or as part of a team of 10 or 20 or 50 people, this is how you work.